morning, sir. Good morning. May we ask for a short statement? How many letters could you receive and could you tell us about some arguments? The Prime Minister is very keen that the process should be concluded as quickly as reasonably uh, possible uh, and that's why we made the announcement earlier this morning uh, why she will come at five o'clock this afternoon to speak to colleagues of the 1922 committee and then we will conduct the ballot immediately after that between six and eight o'clock with a result uh, announced as quickly as we are able to announce it. What's the plan? Well, well, if we're in the middle of a contest, who's running the country? Uh, well, the Prime Minister and the government will continue to um, operate. Uh, uh, the, the British Constitution is very clear about these things. Uh, prime Ministers remain Prime Ministers until there is a, another Prime Minister to replace them. Uh, so the business of government is seamless, regardless of the outcome of this uh, process. Uh, as I've said, I, I think it is uh, proper uh, and beneficial if we resolve this quickly. Thank you. You know, it's, it's an unprecedented uh, sort of situation where you've got a parliament that has got no direction. You've got two main parties, both of which are split on the EU. You've got uh, a prime minister who's lost credibility with her DUP allies uh, because she sort of told them that she would never put a border in the IRC, then tried to do it, then w with withdrew from that situation. Um, she has lost credibility in Brussels as a negotiating partner. Um, the Labour Party have got their own problems as well. So there is very little sort of sense of direction in the UK or capacity actually to move forward.